This evening I'm going to be fitting one of these to my boat. It's a bilge alarm. It has a big red flashing light and a really loud siren. Like most boats, my boat is fitted with an automatic bilge pump. And so what that means is when water builds up in the bilge under the floorboards, the pump automatically operates, comes on and pumps water out back into the sea. What happens when your pump can't keep up with the leak? When water's coming into the boat faster than this pump is pumping it out. Well, what happens is it's quite simple, you sink. So every second counts. I watch quite a lot of um, rescue programs on TV. Uh, many times you hear the boat owners say, well, we didn't realise we were sinking until the floorboards lifted up and water was thrown, being thrown around. So every second counts. So the sooner I know I've got a leak, the better. And I can start acting on it. So the bilge on my boat is in the... Uh, This is my build, so any water that leaks into the boat, whether it be at the front, the back of the boat, um, even from window seal, wherever, the water will eventually end up here. And this here is my bilge pump. Uh, comes on automatically when the water reaches a certain level. Uh, as you can see, it's bone dry, and that's the way I like it. Now, this particular bilge alarm uh, is around 15 pounds on eBay. Or Amazon, they're all much the same. In the box, fixing screws, um, and your wiring. This one is the water sensor, I believe. When water uh, comes between these two end bits of wire, it will sound the alarm. And then on the other wires, we have a 12 volt supply of these. So next thing to decide is where to uh, install your alarm. It's pointless having an alarm if you can't see it. And uh, when the engine's going, um, and you're on passage, and you're up in the cockpit, you might not hear the alarm sounding. So uh, the light for me is, is one of the main things. So I'm just going to place mine down here, just a little socket here. Um, therefore, when I'm up there, that's my cockpit up there, I'll be able to see this light flashing should it go off. Um, regardless of the sound, if I don't hear it, it's not a problem, I can see the flashing light. So, just going to drill a hole down through uh, just to put the wires through. Um, Okay, uh, so the alarm does come with fixing screws. Um, but I'm not a fan of uh, drilling loads of holes in the boat. So I've just bought some uh, sticky back Velcro. I've used that a lot on the boat for mirrors and what have you, and it, it holds really well. So that's what I'm gonna use. There. For the 12 volt power supply on this alarm, um, I've got my wires coming through under the sink here, uh, which I can quite easily run down here. And I'm just going to tap into my um, bilge lamp, sorry, uh, bilge pump power supply there. Uh, that's dead straightforward. Um, with regards to the sensor, uh, the other wire. Um, I have to figure that out. I might have to put an extension on that one. Yeah, so I just stripped my uh, power supply leads back. Uh, so I'm showing a bit of wire. Now I'm just going to tap them into there. Uh, I see red positive, black negative, and this one is blue and blue and brown. Yeah, uh, brown being positive. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to knock off the power supply there because uh, I don't want to pull these leads out. And then if they touch, they're going to short. So we're just going to knock the power off 
to that before we take them out. There, so with the uh, power supply knocked off now, I can just slacken these off. And I can uh, slide the new wires in. There, so that's the power supply sorted out. Uh, a bit fiddly, just managed to slide the wires in and uh, tighten them back up and uh, all good. And as for the uh, water sensor wires, uh, it's just a bit on the short side for this run. Um, so I'm just gonna have to uh, come back tomorrow and uh, solder two extension wires on there and run them through this hole here, out the other side. I know I could just tag them onto this bracket here. Um, so I'll leave the wires, so maybe about a centimeter off the very bottom of the bilge. Uh, then they splashing around and when water covers the two wires, they'll sound the alarm. Um, in the meantime, we'll just give it a quick test, make sure it's all working. Put a tree on there. A little cup of water. And the two bare wires there. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, I think I'll be able to hear that over the engine as well. So, pretty cool. So, just to finish off the install, I put some uh, sticky back Velcro on there, and same on the wall facing me. And we can just pull the wires nice and tight. anywhere and if you want to take it off you can take it off and there's no holes bar the one for the wire sweet happy with that